we got we got a, we got a quick bid. All right, we just click bid. Another bidder is winning. It's 3:30 a.m. and I'm on eBay trying to win a factory radio for my 1967 Chevy C10 pickup truck. The auction ends in about a half an hour, and as of right now, there's just one dork. I'm sorry, person forward slash bidder that is stepping on my toes and getting in my way. There is actually one other radio that has a buy it now price. It's not on auction. That's kind of a plan B, but really, I, I really need to actually decide which one I really want the most here. Let's look at the radio that is on auction and ending very soon. This is a 10 day auction and it ends in 26 minutes and 15 seconds at 4.03 a.m. Kind of an odd time to end it because you're not going to have everybody at their keyboards battling it out. Although you can do an automatic max bid. Let's take a look at the Radiadio. Looks like they didn't even clean this up. So we could probably clean this up a little bit more. Either way, the uh, wear and tear on it matches the rest of the interior. So... Not too concerned about that. That's blurry, but I know it says it was made in Kokomo, Indiana. I wonder if this was from a yard sale or something. But yeah, it's a good looking radio as long as somebody didn't drop it. And this is a transistor type radio. It's not the older tube type. It looks clean. That right there, that's actually where you bolt your brace. There's a, a supposed to be a, a brace that braces the radio to the underside of the dash so it doesn't fall out, but we can fabricate one of those. In your antenna holes back here, and right here is for your power in your speakers, speaker wire, probably a, a good radio. And it is in Riverside, California. Look at this, one bid. One other person after this that we know of right now. Now I wanna click on this because I want, I'm gonna click where it says one bid because I, I wanna see what time this person put this bid in because if they put it in, you know, during normal daytime hours and they're probably not gonna be up at 4 or 3 a.m. to be manually bidding me. What? He placed his bid at 3.05 a.m. I think that was, I think it's the 20th today. So it would have been yesterday. 3.05, oh man, he's going to be up. I wonder, I wonder what state he's in. It's at 18 right now and then 25 for shipping. But here, here's the, uh, here's the kicker about all this. So if you do the math on that, okay, well, that's, you, you just, just call that $45. We're missing knobs, right? There's only one set of knobs that I can find on eBay or, or the knobs that'll work for us anyways. And they look really nice. They are originals that somebody has cleaned up, but look what they, look what they want for them though. $40 plus plus eight twenty five for shipping. They're in Oregon. So if you do the math on that, if we win this let's just say we won this for 18 yeah well plus shipping okay just say 45 dollars and then we buy this okay so now we're at 85 dollars wait hold on I'm, <laughs> I'm messing my math up oh wait no i'm not oh yeah so we'd be at 85 dollars and then plus 820 okay so we're we're breaking 90 for that okay now let's go over to the the buy it now radio let's back up just a second here because i didn't even mention to you that the description for this radio that is on auction oh what oh look at that sponsored items inspired by your views but if you read the description here basically they just say that they bought a whole bunch of radios just trying to get a specific one and this one here that we're bidding on is one that, that they didn't want because they don't need it. And they don't know if it works or not. They didn't test it or anything. But I think it probably is going to work. We can fix it anyways. The reason why I'm trying to get this radio is that, well, it's for a really cool video I got planned for the regular Freeman's Garage channel. If you're new around here, right now you're watching the Freeman's Garage Extra channel, which is for extra little turkey tidbits that don't. Yeah, you know, just don't quite fit into the regular Freeman's Garage channel. But yeah, that's uh that's why we're up at this hour trying to win this thing.
All right, so back to this one here. So this guy, he's asking $125. He says he put power to it and it lit up. There are some other ones, but I'm not interested in. This one here is actually not for a 6772 pickup truck van. Uh, this is though, but I'm not interested in that one. It's pretty rough and they want a lot for its rough shape. But so basically he just says... That, yeah, it lit up. But if you come back up to the pictures, you can see, well, and he says in there it's a, a garage find. I don't know if that's a garage sale find or what. He probably cleaned it up. It looks better. It doesn't mean that it actually functions properly. Everything is kind of a gamble. And this is one of these deals where I kick myself in the butt because 20 years ago, I had tons of this stuff that, you know, I got rid of some way, somehow. And another thing that's interesting about this stuff is is look at the the types of prices I'm playing around in and spending on this stuff. This th this is stuff that most people throw in the garbage if they're building a, a C10, they're restoring or or yeah, or even restoring it, or they're doing a resto mod or whatever. They they take this stuff and they throw it in the garbage. They take this the straight six engine out, the two fifty or two ninety two. They put it right in the dumpster. They don't even play around with this old stuff. But here's the funny part is that I have this on my watch list and an offer came out. I, I If you're a seller, you can send out a, a, a an offer to people that are that have it saved, your item saved. And he, he actually sent an offer out for $99 and then I countered it at 50 <laughs> and he came back at 95 okay and then plus there's a 16 for shipping so for the other radio we'd be at about 90 ish right and for this if we did 95 plus the 17 that he wants for shipping that'd be 111 i'm thinking about countering him again but i don't want to do that right now because what if he accepts it or what what if what if we send a counter offer right now? You know, we're not gonna want to go bid on the other one then, because what if the guy accepts the offer? We're gonna end up possibly buying two radios when we only need one at the momento. So I think we'll play around with with trying to to win this. And then which is only 16 minutes left now. Because this guy, this other bidder, he's he's probably sitting at his kitchen table right now. <laughs> he's looking at this too. And he's thinking, Oh, I got this. I got this. I've been watching this for ten days. There's been no activity. Right before the final day I sneak in an opening bid and there was no response. Oh, I'm gonna snag this thing. So I think this will be fun slash funny to try to win this and if we don't we can maybe buy this but of course if we win this we gotta buy this and that's gonna oh man i don't wanna pay 40 bucks for that but if if we get this for 18 ish it would all come out below what this would be am i confusing you because i'm confusing myself but we we got this we got this all right let let's Let's battle this guy at his kitchen table and come up with a strategy here to fight him. So we've got 14 minutes left. What's our st strategy going to be? Let's see if if we click place bid. Okay, if we click pla place bid, we could bid 19, we could bid 20, we could bid 23. Or we could just put in our max bid and go back to bed. <laughs> we could do that. Um... But again, the guy that we're fighting here, we don't know if he just put in an auto automated max bid and he's snoozing right now. The alarm clock hasn't gone off yet. Or if he's going to be sitting up manually manning his battle station here. We don't know, but it's funny to think about. So what what is our strategy going to be what are we gonna do because it well we, we could should we just bid 19 right now and then see if it automatically kicks in an, an, an automated bid for the other guy 
What should we do? What What about this? What if, okay, if we put a max bid in for 50 bones and we won it for 50 and then we buy the knobs, which now I'm seeing that the knob guy wants eight bucks for shipping. So 40 plus eight, so 48 and 50. So that would put us at 98. So, well, that, that puts us 10 bucks below what we can get the nicer, cleaner radio for um and maybe we could counter and get down maybe another 10 so basically the same or 10 bucks more we could get the cleaner radio which probably has a better chance of functioning properly although i have faith in both of them but it, it possibly would reduce the the chances of getting a radio that's not working and losing 100 bucks although um, <laughs> a radio like that could be dropped on a garage floor at any moment, but we can fix it. And it being a transistor radio, it's easier to, to work with than the, uh, tube type radios in my experience. If we, if we were to win this auction radio and then we get the knob separately, that complicates things. Cause then you're, you know, then there's two packages that could get lost in the mail and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, which I mean, that's not not really something I would really be concerned about, but it is possible. Two different sellers does make things a little bit more complicated. Let's, let's do this. Let's put in a manual bid on this auction radio. Let's just put in the manual minimum, 1850 or 19, whatever it was, whatever it said. Let's put that in. And find out if this other bidder has a uh, manual or an automated bid set up to counter me automatically up to whatever he sets his max. Or if he's sitting at his kitchen table ready to duke it out or sitting there nervous just hoping nobody else shows up to the party. So yeah, let, 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 let's do that. We'll see what happens, and then if we need to, we'll put in a max auto bid of $30, okay? And if we win the radio, then we'll get the knobs from the other seller. But if we don't win the radio, then we'll just, um, then we'll buy the cleaner one from the counter offer guy. I, off camera, I went back and forth with myself for a long time, so now we are down to three minutes left now we have less than three minutes left do we ruin this guy's day and put this bid in now because you know he thinks he's got it locked up he's really excited what should we do well enter 18 enter 18 okay here let, let, let's do this let's put 18 dollars and 50 cents in <laughs> we might make somebody so mad right now. Oh, I don't like the thought of that, but I mean, what what did Boss Hog say on Dukes of Hazard? Do one to others before they do one to you? No, I'm just kidding. But I mean, this is a, a place of bidding, right? This has to happen. So let's wait. Let's wait. Let's let's wait a little bit longer. Let's wait. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Let's build let's build a little bit more suspense into this. Just wait a little bit longer. Okay, we got less than a minute. Um I'm nervous. I need to hold my autographed Jerry Clower uh headshot. Alright, we got we got it we got a quick bid. Alright, we just click bid. Another bidder is winning! Let's put in let's put in our max. <laughs> wait, wait, how do I do this? No! 28 How do I do this? Wait, what do you mean put in your max? Hold on, I don't understand how this works now. Uh <laughs> wait, your max bid. Oh, okay, there's 12 seconds left. Just just hit 30 bones. All right, we're in the lead. <laughs> now I feel like we're overpaying for it. I think we won it. 
Uh, now, if it, we're, de- we're determining the winner, please refresh the page. It's been a long time since I, since I uh, bid on eBay. Congratulations! You won the auction! Congratulations, you are the winner of a really old, a really, really old piece of electronic equipment that might not work. See, now I, I wonder if, uh, did, did, are we overpaying for it now? But we are, we are committed. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Whoa, look at that. We actually paid, we're, we're, we're paying 2220. So that's where we, beat the other seller's max bid. Okay, so here's where the seller had, had started the uh, starting bid at 18, and then somebody put a bid in for 18, and then we put that bid in for 18.50, and then this guy, I don't know, he, he probably an auto, he had it set on auto, because then it hit, he bid 21.70 and then uh we put in our max at 30 and it auto bid 22.20 Alrighty, i just settled up with the uh radio guy i made my <laughs> well i didn't have to give him money but i had to click some buttons i don't you know apparently these made up numbers on okay you know what i'm not, i'm not going to get into a rant about, uh, yeah, let's just not go, (laughs) let's not go down that road. Let's hop over to Knob Guy and make that purchase. That's going to be expensive. All right, we're here over at Knob Guy. 39 bucks plus 825 for shipping. Man, I wish we could send him an offer. But, you know, um, we're just, uh, we're going to, we're going to support small business we're going to support somebody that's doing something, a fellow American. Let, let's do it. It's a parts recycler. It's somebody uh, somebody that's um, trying to earn income. Let's do it. Let's just click on it. Let's buy it. Let's give them the money. Let's help them out. All right. We won the auction. We bought the knobs. We squared up with everybody. They're sleeping, but they'll see it in the morning and get everything shipped out. Look at these split. I'm sure of it. But it just so happens to be Friday, so there's the weekend, and eh, yeah, prob- prob- it's probably going to be a solid week before we uh, get our mitts on this on these parts, and well, on Freeman's Garage and Freeman's Garage Extra, both well, e- well, e- okay, e- just 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 I just appreciate you being subscribed to both channels and watching everything and sharing everything and doing all that and leaving comments on videos because. The, these the radio that we just won and the knobs that can appear on on both channels you know i just I, I don't even know what day it is anymore you know you know you, you know how it is but i did the math here so check this out this is kind of funny how this works out so we know that the buy it now radio guy we had the counter offer guy we had him locked in at 111 okay that was with was shipping okay maybe could get him down lower but eh, probably not you know so if we went with him we would have been at 111 but with the route that we went and winning the radio at 2250 which was less than i thought it was going to be or 2220 which was less than i thought it was going to be i was expecting to pay the, the full 30 um that ended up being so 2224 the radio itself and then 25 for shipping which now shipping is expensive these days and hey you want the seller to use a lot of good material right to ship you your uh fragile uh antique electronic right so pay for that and there's labor in there i got no problem compensating the seller for that so that was 25 and then of course you know who tax on an extra three eighty nine, right? So that brings our total for the radio to fifty one dollars and nine cents. Now for the knobs, we paid thirty nine, and then eight twenty five for the shipping, and then Uncle Sam tacked on. Well, no, not Uncle Sam. 
it's a, a governor of somebody's state, right? Would it be my state or their state? I don't remember. I, I don't want to get involved. I, I just, I, I, I just, I, I, I just try not to get in trouble, okay? So they tacked on 390. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of, just kind of follow their little game. So 390 was tacked on. So that comes out to a total of 5115. So the radio total was 5109. The knob total was 5115 for a total of 102 and 24 centavos, which brings us to a savings of just say nine, 10 bucks compared to if we got the radio that looks a little bit cleaner, but the one we got, we could probably clean up as clean as the other one that looks cleaner. I don't know. I appreciate you watching. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for hanging out. You won the auction!